It's no secret that designing the emails that WooCommerce sends to you and your customers is much harder than it needs to be. And with the latest release of FunnelKit automations, we've introduced features that are going to make designing and sending these emails out to your customers much easier to manage. To achieve this, with the latest version of FunnelKit automations, under emails, you will find new screens. Under transactional emails and email notifications, you can design all the transactional emails that your WooCommerce store sends from this easy to use interface. And under contact activity, you'll see a log of all the transactional emails that are being sent out by your store. Also, under history, you now have one screen that shows you every single email that is being sent out from FunnelKit automations, including your transactional emails, any emails sent from all your automations, any emails sent from all your broadcast emails, and any emails sent from when you go to a particular contact's profile and send them a direct message, allowing you to quickly search for a particular contact and see what emails they've received from your store instead of having to go into their individual profile. You can also go and click source and show all the emails that were sent from particular automation, as well as a particular broadcast, ones that have failed or bounced or were completed, and emails that were sent over a specific time period. Here's a quick overview of these features and how they're gonna make handling your emails for WooCommerce much easier. You probably know how it feels to design a really beautiful WooCommerce website, and then you do some test orders and you realize that the emails that you're getting aren't very good looking. So you log into your WordPress dashboard and you go to WooCommerce and then to settings and then over to emails. And then you begin to design these emails so that they look a little bit more professional and match the branding of your store. So when you go and cancel somebody's order, you click to manage this email, but then you realize you can't really design what these emails look like. You can change these details here, like the recipients and the subject line, but where do I go and design how the actual email looks? Well, it says down here, you need to copy this PHP file into your theme, and then you need to edit the HTML and PHP code there to customize it, which is not very practical. And that's a big issue that the latest release of FunnelKit automations is aiming to solve. All of these emails that WooCommerce sends out of the box to you and your customers that you need to set up for every single store you ever create can now be customized from one single place inside of FunnelKit automations. Check this out. From your WordPress dashboard, go to FunnelKit automations and then emails. And now you'll see two new submenu items here, transactional emails and history. And clicking on transactional emails, we now see emails that start to look a bit familiar. The new order email, on hold email, processing, refunded, canceled orders, order details, completed order, customer note added, failed order, new account and reset password. All of these emails here that you previously had to edit a PHP file to customize can now be managed and designed using the powerful features of FunnelKit automations. And that includes the drag and drop email builder. For example, here processing order, this email is sent to your customers when you receive payment and you're fulfilling the order. If I go over to here and click edit, that launches the email builder. And now I'm able to design this WooCommerce email using a drag and drop interface, similar to if you're using a page builder like Elementor, Beaver Builder, Bricks, it's the exact same logic. You have your structure over here, which are your rows and your sections and your columns. You drag them from the left over onto the right. And then inside there, you add your blocks. For example, here, I could drag a coupon code block into here and then begin to styling it with an interface that I'm familiar with. If you're interested in learning more specifically about this drag and drop email builder, definitely see our separate video about that topic. For now, I'll just go ahead and delete that, but I could click here and I could size the logo down. Here for this heading, I could make it bold. The customer's order details are output here in a nice modern layout with their billing and shipping details. And then down here, the template that I chose already has a coupon field. Once you've designed the email, make sure you check it on mobile to see how that looks and also click preview and test. Then use the built-in audit email tool here to scan your email and make sure you haven't forgot to add links to any buttons or that your email isn't too big. And then send a test email to yourself Click send email, open it up in your inbox and make sure it's all coming through correctly. And once done, exit out of here, click save, and then click the back arrow. Check that all these details are correct, like the subject line, and then down here, click save. 
and up the top right, click to enable this email. And then back here under WooCommerce settings and emails, this processing email, it is already disabled, but let's say that was active. I will just click on manage. I would uncheck this box to disable this email and click save. And now instead of using the native email that goes out from WooCommerce, that email is now handled by the FunnelKit Automations plugin. And then we just repeat the process for all the other emails here. And now this store is sending beautiful emails out to customers that match our branding and are much easier to manage using that drag and drop email builder. If you're an existing FunnelKit user, you might have already replaced these default WooCommerce emails by creating automations. Here under FunnelKit automations and automations, I've set up three automations. One for order processing, order cancelled and password reset. If I click into the order processing automation, the trigger or event that causes this automation to occur is when an order is created, if it's in processing status, then we are going to send the order receipt email, which looks like this. But what we found based on user feedback is that most users are creating these automations with the trigger and then the one email going out to replace that native WooCommerce email functionality. And in most cases, there's nothing more that needs to be done from this. So instead of having you go out and create different automations for all of those WooCommerce emails and having those automations mixed with your abandoned cart automations and your welcome series automations, now you have a separate interface to configure all of these transactional emails that is much quicker and easier to set up and manage. A related quality of life feature introduced in this latest version of FunnelKit Automations is contact activity and history. And these are logging the emails that go out from your WooCommerce website. Under transactional emails, if I click on contact activity, this gives us a detailed log of all the emails that have gone out for our transactional emails. So we have the name of the contact that the transactional email was sent to, the type of transactional email, the related order ID, as well as the date that it was sent on and statuses as to whether the email is successfully sent, whether the user has opened the email and whether or not they've clicked a link inside the email. So down here, I can see this particular user created an account on our website and we sent them an email on this particular date and the email was successfully sent out by FunnelKit Automations. They haven't opened the email and they have not clicked a link. This user up here created an account on our website and we sent them an email with their new account details on this date, but we can see that the email failed to send. So now we know that email failed to send to that user in case they email our support asking why they didn't get the email. And we can also start to diagnose how we can get that email sent to the user. So over here, if I click resend, that will try and resend the email. And it said email successfully sent there. And up the top here is a new log in the contacts activity for this user for that type of email on the date at the time that I just clicked that resend button. And we can see that resend email successfully was sent to the user. Up the top here, you can also search for a particular contact and see their activity within your store. A key note here is that this activity log is only related to the transactional emails, which is important because if we click on history, we see a second type of log. So this is a bird's eye view of everything that's happening in your store in relations to emails, including all the emails that are sent out from all your different automations are logged in here. Your transactional emails are logged in here, as well as when you go to an individual contact profile and send them an email, that is logged in here as well. And this will also include the emails that are sent through your broadcasts. So the way to think of this is if FunnelKit Automations is sending a user an email, that will be shown here under history. So here we get the contact's name as well as the source of the email and the type of the email sent, the subject line of the email, the date it was sent on and its status. And for all these emails, you can click view to see what that email looks like. So here I can see that this is a direct message to this contact. So if I click into my profile and go to emails and click send email and give it the subject line, my email three and click send. Now under history, I can see that that email came through. It was a direct message and the subject line was this on this date and it's completed. As mentioned, history also includes your transactional emails. So we have the contact's name here as well as the subject. 
which in this case is new account on this date and it was completed. Further down here, we can see that this contact was sent an email from an automation and the email was sent from this automation here with the name review collection email post purchase. And it had the subject line got two minutes with their name and it was sent on this date and its status is completed. And we can click view to see that email. You also have quick access to that particular automation by clicking on the automation's name and going directly in here where we could scroll down and there's that email. We could click and have a look at what's going on in that email. Having all your emails here in the history log is going to be a big quality of life improvement because the alternative to that before was you had to go into each individual automation and then under engagements to see what emails were being sent out for a particular automation. And if you wanted to check multiple automations, you had to click into each automation individually and then engagements to see those emails going out. But now you don't have to do all of that. It's all centralized in the one interface here under history. You'll also find yourself using the search bar here to quickly see all the different emails that have been sent out to a particular contact. So this sort of gives you a timeline of how a contact is progressing through your website by getting all the different emails that you're sending out to them over time. As well as a search bar, you can filter out the history by filters. So we could search for a particular automation, for example, the abandoned cart, and any emails that were sent from that automation would show here. We could also filter for a particular broadcast. Then you can filter by the status, so completed, failed, or bounced, and also by a particular time period. So we could do all emails that were sent this month and apply, and also that have the status of failed and apply. And now you get a list of all the emails that have failed sending in the last month, which you can now diagnose and find out what's going on. So jump in, give these new features a go. They should be available to you now. And if you get stuck, reach out to our support. And if you're not already using the powerful features of FunnelKit Automations, then definitely reach out to our pre-sales team or head on over to our pricing page to see our current deals.